you are in for a treat. We're headed to Palmetto Dunes. It is just a fabulous place, and I think you're really going to like it. Getting ready to go over the bridge right now on the Hilton Head Island. Welcome to Palmetto Dunes. Few facts, there are over a thousand homes, almost 1,500 villas, all nestled on over 2,000 acres. There are three miles of beachfront on the Atlantic Ocean, 11 miles of saltwater lagoons, 19 tennis courts and 24 pickleball courts, three golf courses, a seasonal dune buggy that's on demand, and right across the street you have Shelter Cove and the marina. Now we're getting ready to go into Queens Grant. Queens Grant is made up of five different regimes and the monthly fee is run anywhere between $277 and $820 per month and these units were built in 1974. And it's typical the way they have these little streets where it's more like a little cul-de-sac so you can get a feeling for what it's like and looking at these from the outside while they're in good working order they don't look special some of them inside look incredible and some they may not have changed since 1974 I would also like to know the cheapest condo on the market right now is in this development and it is listed for $449,900. So we just entered the Mariner's Gate in Palmetto Dunes and there's a lot to do within the plantation. You can fish, bike, kayak, dolphin tours, and of course the beach which is right here. Plenty of easy access to shopping and dining. Not to mention the three golf courses, Arthur Hills, Robert Trent Jones, and George Fazio. The HOA fee is $1,800 a year for homes. Note the Spanish moss dripping off the live oaks. Fun fact, probably I say this too much, but Spanish moss is related to pineapple. And if you don't believe me, ask Mr. Google. Currently the cheapest single family home right now in Palmetto Dunes is listed at a million ninety-nine thousand. And it has its own private dock and was built in 79. We are literally steps away from the Atlantic Ocean and you'll see just how far away when I turn the camera to walk back towards the road that's about the halfway point on the walkway I'm Carl Kratz with Century 21, a local broker and realtor in the South Carolina Lowcountry, here to answer all your real estate questions. If you'd like to see more of my content, consider subscribing to my channel, getting the information while it's fresh. If you're getting something out of this video, give me a thumbs up. And you can also reach out to me with the Calendly link below for a Zoom meeting or a phone meeting. And don't be afraid to try and text me or email me as well. So let's go ahead and get back to it.
I would like to say over the years I've been stopped multiple times by the Secret Service because US presidents were staying on some of these T streets I want to say one of the Bushes and Clinton not that it matters but I guess my point is if it's good enough for a US president it's not a bad place to be Aren't those lagoons beautiful? And being salt water, the added benefit is alligators don't like them. It's not a guarantee, but they don't prefer, prefer the harshness of the salt. On the right you'll see the tennis courts and it just really amazes me how many people are actually playing pickleball these days it's, it's incredible and we're also coming up to the general store so if you need a pop it's a nice easy place to, to go and grab something Villamar's on the left followed by Disney. Villamar was built in 86 and the regime fees are $8.68 a month. Captain's Walk. And there are a lot of different captains around here. Just like there are a lot of different Windsors over here. Depending on the, when it was built, the iteration. Okay. And we have the Omni. You know, that's the thing too that depending on how many people you want when you're at the beach that are tourists versus you know somebody that owns and lives in here the proximity to either the Omni or the Marriott would be a factor okay Hampton Place now that sign said Leamington but we haven't gone through the gate yet so and I'm not going to try right now Windsor Court at North. Yeah, and this definitely feels more touristy here compared to the Mariner side on the South Gate. You know, one thing you might not know is there's actually underground access to get across 278. So if you want to go to Shelter Cove, you can actually cross under 278 and not have to go across the traffic.
I can remember when I first started coming down here in the early 80s. It felt like a giant Cadillac commercial. Everything was so manicured. It, you know, I grew up in Northern Virginia. And it just was so different. Now it's home for a very long time. It definitely, it definitely is a magical place. And I can't imagine living anywhere else. Now, just like anywhere, there are good things and bad things. So you just have to keep keep that in mind and decide what's important to you. Well, I could have. Uh, I could have made more money if I was in a larger metropolitan area. But the way I look at it is, excuse me, and the way, but the way I look at it is, I'm working, I'm living where people dream of retiring, so I'm trying to enjoy my retirement sort of a little early.